All right, so we just got a service call. Um, AC unit running warm. Um, this is a Linux unit. I'm gonna hit menu. Um, five, 200 by IMC Prodigy. All right, so supply temp, 44 degrees. Return is 84. Um, that is odd. That's very, very low supply temp. All right, so it's our unit right here. Uh, it's the summertime. I'm starting to get a lot of AC calls. So uh, these ACs are starting to show their true colors. And um, call volume is starting to go up. So I'm just basically checking out my condenser fans. Everything seems to be running. Uh, just open this up. All right, belt's on. Everything is running. Uh, coil's not frozen or anything. Just check our electrical. No, we open up, we try to check everything. All right, just check over there. A little bit of frost right there starting to come on. Like I said, I just cleared the, hit the reset button so the unit could come on. Linux. All right, let's look at our Prodigy. So far we've got an alarm, 75 for the outdoor temp sensor. Uh, outdoor temp sensor is normally located. Uh, right here right behind here this little clamp is for the sensor let's just see if we got any other um, faults here uh, let's go down the data main menu data uh, select history uh, alarms 75 460 value Outdoor. Okay, so definitely have an issue with the outdoor temp sensor. Those sensors go bad all the time. Uh, just go ahead and get that order. It's pretty easy to check. Uh, so yeah, let me hook my gauges up. See what's going on while we're going off on freeze that. All I notice is we got a lot of liquid coming back to these compressors. You know, starting to sweat. Let's see if this one is sweat. All right, so same thing here, I'm starting to sweat. Let's just hook my gauges up and let's see what's going on. All right, so just basically hooked up my gauges and uh, gonna see how my pressures look. 100 over 362. Um, this unit has plenty of refrigerant. This is R410A. Um, so, um, Maybe it's a TXV. Look at that, 390, 400. This thing here is going up. Um, maybe somebody may have put gas in it. I don't know. Maybe it's a bad TXV, but let's check the second stage. Look at that pressure starting to drop again on the high side. Um, let's just check our other stage. All right, so I just hooked my gauge up right here. And uh, as I open this door, I notice that this coil here is starting to freeze up. Look at that suction line all over here the feeder tubes there's ice so um, there's something definitely going on here and i uh, just hooked up here let's see what we're reading on this stage uh, go back all right so let's see 78 over 324 so they both have gas in it but we're running a low suction so it's kind of weird uh, you know what's the chance of you know it could be both stages low on gas uh you know maybe it's the tsv but what's the chance of both tsv going bad at the same time you know it's very rare so i don't think it's the tsv um could be long gas i'm not really sure i don't know all right so just check out our blower wheel this is 208 
230, 460. So this is a dual voltage motor. Uh, let's just confirm my voltage. Uh, 208, 230 without heater. 208, 240 with heater. So the 208. Uh, so FLA. 9.7 to 9.4 uh, slash 4.6 uh, so let's just check our amps let's close this door we don't want to check the amps with the door open so uh, let's just see what we get 4.3 um, it's a little bit low, but uh, it's weird. Belt looks like it's all tight, um, but what I do notice is, you know, if you look at this arrow right here, it says that um, we should be going, you know, the rotation should be different. So, um, all right, so I just reversed my motor leads. As you can see, my amp draw went up to 7.7 .7 amps. Should be close to 9. Um, also, um, I reversed the leads. Um, like I say, you just reverse any of one of those. Um, just swap them, and the rotation will go in the opposite direction. And um, it even sounds more louder. It feels more powerful. Um, so, pretty much happy with that. Also, if I check my pressures, my pressure starting to look good on this stage. 128 over 353. Alright, so, just hooked up on my other stage. Right now, we're at 148 over 354. So, these pressures look pretty good. Gonna head downstairs. All right, so I'm just checking my E2 one more time, and um, as you can see, temperature is starting to drop. We're at 77 degrees. 